in a world where you can be anything. Be kind. Hey guys, welcome back to my vlog, Thinking Out Loud with Shan, aka Shannon, which is me. Thank you so much for all your support over the last week. It's been really, really um, kind. And today's video, I'm going to be talking about being kind and just a nice person after this weekend's event, which I think has literally struck everybody's heartstrings. But before I get into that, um, I'm just going to do the usual. If you like this video, please give it a massive thumbs up and subscribe. And also, please head over to my Instagram where I load at the moment when I can, when I feel up to it. So, yeah, that is Thinking Out Loud with Shan. Um, and this week, I think I'm going to say again why I'm doing these videos. And hopefully it might stick true to somebody because... After this week's events, I feel like you really don't know what's going on behind closed doors. So the reason why I do these videos is because a problem shared is a problem halved. We need to start talking about stuff. Um, and hopefully me talking about something so open and honestly makes you think there might be something wrong. And yeah, so before we head over to this week's topic... Um, I'm just literally going to give you a little brief of what's happened over the weekend. So over this last weekend, um, a well-known presenter to all of us, Caroline Flack, literally, this is like really affecting me. And I don't know why, but it's really like tugging on my heartstrings. But yeah, so Caroline Flack took her life on Saturday the 15th of Feb, or she was found on Saturday the 15th of Feb, and I never thought like a celebrity's death or somebody that you watch through the telly could affect you, and it has. I think everybody feels like we're in mourning because the amount of pain that she felt was unbearable for her and I can totally relate. Suicide to people, well some people that I've heard, they class it as really a selfish act to do. Well I can tell them people to fuck right off. <laughs> Clearly you've never felt suicidal because when you do feel suicidal, suicide is the only way to get out. I think it's through own people's ignorance that I know I felt that I couldn't talk about suicide. Like, last week was a really difficult week for me and I briefly talked about that, how I didn't want to be here and I honestly generally felt that the world would be better off without me and I just physically couldn't cope with the voices in my head, the anxiety I felt. I just wanted to like just to stop. Um, I think that was really heightened as well that I've just been on, put on my antidepressants. Um, and they say that you can get worse before you could get better. And I think, you know, that was what was happening this week. This week, my mood's really calmed down um, and I'm starting to deal with it. But if it took something to kind of trigger me off more last week then I don't know and I think it is that one second of manic that can change everything I think you should talk about if you feel suicidal I think there's no harm I think you shouldn't be embarrassed um I just feel so sad I just feel so sad for her like and do you know what like you think you like you know them off the telly like and who cares what was going on around her? Not in the sense of like what happened leading up to this. But it all started with a Barney maybe that maybe triggered her. Now you tell me 
who hasn't had an argument with their boyfriend on a night out? <laughs> because for me and mine have had loads. Jesus Christ, we've had loads. Or alcohol has caused an argument or whatever and things are said that you don't mean and it's heated and the next morning you wake up and you regret it. You regret that mistake you've made. I don't think there's anybody that can say they haven't done that. And the press loves the drama and they've took that and they've run with it. This woman was bullied to death and it's got to stop. In a world where you can be anything, be kind, was the last words really from Caroline and I think we should really act on it. Um, checking in on that friend, even if they haven't contacted you, be the fucking bigger person. Both people can be so stubborn sometimes. I know a lot of my friends that I haven't talked to in a long time. I'm probably stubborn. And I'm like, well, they haven't made the first move. So I'm not. But this weekend has really made me realise that I'm going to make the first move. Even if it hurts me. Even if I know they've done me wrong. It ain't worth it. Being petty, it's not worth it. I think... This has made me realise more that I do need a lot of help. That I really want to love the people around me so much. Um, and there's been a lot of things that have gone on behind the scenes that's really made this true like home for me. Um, so, yeah. I just want to say to people that if you are suicidal, talk to somebody. You can be actively suicidal and physically walking around. People just think, you know, you're supposed to be in a bed rotting away. That is not the case. So please talk to somebody. You're not alone. We're all battling this. On days when you don't want to get up, get up. Because you're so worth it. And I really hope this don't carry on happening because... A 40 year old woman has just lost their life because she was bullied bullied by her own mental health and bullied by the world and it's not fair take care of yourself and i'll see you next week